is a city under constant transformation driven by a dynamic which links art and industry. Thanks to concrete initiatives such as the creation of the Cité du Design and the International Design by Life Festival, Saint-Étienne has adopted design as an agent for urban transformation and leverage for economic development. Relying on the creativity of its territory and the engagement of the both public and industrial sector, the city is reinventing itself, leading its numerous small and medium-sized enterprises to innovation and improving the quality of its citizens' urban living environment through design. So we said that uh, it's 400,000 uh, inhabitants in the metropolis, second urban center in the Rhône region. And uh, as you see and uh, as you have seen yesterday in the exhibition, because we focused on the medical, uh, we choose only one uh, axe of uh, medical textiles and medical industries. So we have, uh, yes, our main activities are now oriented, oriented towards creative services and clusters of excellence, optical, mechanical engineering, medical, technology, higher education and design. Uh, just I want to speak about uh, a new area, which is the creative district and the living lab where the Cité de Design is. It's uh, the Manufacture Plein Achille, is the name in French, as the ambition of becoming the district of creative sector, a permanent link network, networking arts, culture and leisure with the three uh, main fields of higher education, optic, design and media. The district is strengthened by the presence of the city of design, the Saint-Étienne Telecoms Engineering Schools and the Optic Vision Cluster, leading edge companies and high-tech research laboratories. So I think that something is wrong. So this is the, the, this, uh, this is the location, it was a an arm, an arm uh, manufacturer, very old, uh, 200 century old. So we are, it's, a, it's a very important uh, 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 renovation area, regeneration urban area, and it's downtown. saint Etienne Metropolis uh, has deployed a seed program, which each year generates 15 innovative projects at the moment, resulting from laboratories and clusters spin-off, creative support, support based on design services are offered to this startup. And the uh, Manufacture Plein Achille campus, all this area, you have seen it before, is also a place for experimentation. We were labelized a, living, a European Living Lab in 2009. So, uh, just a few uh, things, a few images about this Living Lab. We are uh, we are um, working on uh, co-creations. Uh, we are developing research projects with companies. We have a lot of uh, yes activities, also education activities, workshops, analysis, and uh, we are observing the daily life users. We are very user-centered approach. And we, as a, a living lab, uh, working on this uh, with uh, at the European level, and recently we were applying uh, at the European level to connect the, the, the network of a living lab connected with uh, the design centers. So we hope that European Commission will get the funding for that. And uh, so these also are images. What? we are exploring because uh, we used to, uh, to introduce Saint-Étienne as a city, as a design laboratory, and the laboratory is uh, the Cité du Design, the design center. Our proposal for the network is, uh, we have, a, of course, wishes to share experience and skills with the UNESCO cities of design to confront changes in our societies and the central question, questions facing the cities in the 21st century. We propose first to have common activities, uh, for example, to participate in common research uh, program, 
our project such uh, as uh, GDP was proposing uh, recently, what can designer do to rebuild Japan, but not only to rebuild Japan, what can design do to think about disaster or specific uh, situation that uh, the world is facing because of the climate change and many, many, many situations that we are facing now. So uh, I, th I think that uh, in, through the network we could have different levels of cooperation. A level co of cooperation through the schools of designs, because all the design cities have very strong schools. So we must think about starting cooperation through the schools. And so we could start this project through the schools, for example. But we also have to start, and it was said by by Tanya and uh, by all the speakers before, but uh, cooperation with the designers and with the companies. So we must find a way of uh, developing this. In Saint-Étienne, we started already to invite, like uh, many of the other cities before, because we are a young city, we will celebrate at the end of the week or next week our first anniversary. <laughs> and Buenos Aires is uh, celebrating uh, is uh, uh, six or five, and Montreal was celebrating his fifth anniversary. So it's not a, it's not a, uh, it's joke, <laughs> joking, but not. Yes, we must, uh, we must, uh, of course, set up this platform, enabling the connections between the cities, with the creators and companies. And so we started to have a program inviting designers for conferences for. Uh, we have uh, uh, already, of course, uh, uh, an agenda in Saint-Étienne, which is also an agenda for the companies, for the public services, for many things. So we try to implement a special agenda inviting one city or two cities just to share these experiences in, during the year. We also want to launch the code, uh, the code souvenir, as uh, I saw that uh, Kobe uh, is launching uh, launched it uh, Nagoya Medi and uh, other cities, so it will start next year, and we will participate in the next uh, general assembly in Montreal, of course. And we try to to uh, we try to go not only us but with designers, and uh, I think uh, and uh, in the network we we could thank, for example, the. Shanghai, uh, Shanghai invitation this year, inviting the designers uh, at, for the interior uh, festival. Uh, it was very, very nice. We, for example, at Saint Etienne, invited one designer more to set to participate in this uh, program. So it's uh, you know we must also think about some acupuncture projects, bilateral projects. Okay, some more. Ex expanded project, so that we must work for it. So we have a, I have a proposal at the end of the presentation, which is almost, almost finished. And uh, we uh, just few slides, because our uh, strong uh, activity in Saint-Étienne is the uh, International Design Biennale Festival. We, we started as the school staff has created it in 1998, and now it's the uh, Cité du Design which is uh, running the, this event with a school still, but not at the same level. So uh, this event is uh, internationally well known. We were inviting, uh, since the beginning, 50 countries participating in this. We, were, uh, we had uh, 70 countries uh, as a, a regular invitation. So it's, uh, it's a time uh, very important. It will be postponed in uh, March 2013. And for this uh, next event, we would like to organize, to propose a special project for the, the cities of design to participate, to have a, a very big exhibition there, just to focus on who we are, what we are working on. We will, the main theme is empathy. So we plan to have a special pro proposal for working working <laughs> program for, for you. I, I will be the curator of this exhibition with Leticia Wolf. She is from New York. She was the editor-in-chief of Surface Magazine. And we will work together. And we have already 
uh, yes, worked on it, so I will tell you more information. So, and we will have a summit, design summit, uh, in Saint Etienne, if you want, and we will organize also a conference uh, on uh, on this uh, yes the theme. And this theme, uh, I think it's uh, it's not something new because everybody was speaking about it yesterday. It's about co-creation. It's about how the, the yes the, the way of life, what design can do, what what. Are, you, are we hearing from the citizens what well, it's not only uh, uh, cities changed by urban, urban and uh, designers, architects, it's also for people. So it's also something which is related with, with the main theme. And uh, I hope that it could be good for you. We, uh, we propose to have a special session for the, the 10 cities of design after the dinner for working, because it's not only for drinking, <laughs> we are also here for drinking, for working. And I would like also uh, to uh, let the opportunity to Julia Lemeshu, uh, who is a very, uh, very important person at GDP, but now the new president of EcoGrada, and uh, maybe to, to speak about this uh, possibility of uh, working on this project. Thank you very much for your attention.